Hello children, how are you all? I hope you are fit and fine, happy and healthy. Children, today is a new day or you can say the first day of your new session. Today, we are going to introduce a new subject or you can say a new type of concept that is value education. So today uh, I am going to introduce this subject value education in class 7th. So first of all I would like to tell you in this uh, uh, video about value education, what is value education, how it is uh, necessary for our life and our student life. So children, why this is integrated with education? So value plus education is called value education. Value children, as you all know, there are so many values that we inherit from uh, our family, our parents and our society. So the same values just like moral values, social values. So these type of the value we will discuss in this video. So children, we are going to start this class. So first of all, I would like to introduce our value education program. What are the ingredients or you can say, what are the things we will learn in this value education program? First of all, you can see in this clip that is, first of all, we will learn responsibility, share and care, doing your best, respect, freedom, honesty, trust, understanding, reuse and recycle and forgiveness. Yes, children, these are the values we should learn. Because with the help of these value, we will become a good human being. We will serve the society with full heartedly or full enthusiasm. So children, first of all, responsibility. This is the, I think, this is a main or important aspect or the, you can say, the concept of our life. If we are responsible to do any work with dedication, so we never fail. So this is the way we can learn the responsibility. So what is responsibility? We will learn in this moral education program. Share and care. Yes, of course, children, without sharing, we cannot uh, do better meant for the society. Yes, children, sharing and caring is a, you can say, essential part of our society, in our family, because mother and father sharing us love, care, everything. They are taking responsibility of ours. So, as you all know, children, family is a unit of society. So, we can learn these type of the moral share, sharing and caring responsibility from our family. Now, the next one is doing your best. If you are morally strong, if you are emotionally strong, if your family is supportive and you are having a very uh, high a zeal about any work or any deed so you will do best in your life so this is the next you can say the value of your uh, in a value education program now respect as children you know that uh, uh, we are respecting our teachers, our mother and father, our grandparents. So, uh, respect is very important. If we are not respecting our elders or not uh, giving love, our young ones, so 
the relationship become worst so that is why this is also a most important uh, you can say the point in the value education program freedom freedom is important for us so we will learn freedom how much it is important and at which extent it is necessary so we will learn in this program now the next one is honesty yes children share and care doing your best respect freedom and honesty honesty is the best policy so this is the phrase and it is very important for us also without honesty we cannot conquer the world now trust trust yes children trust is also very important part of our society or you can say for yourself also because without trust we cannot survive in this world we are trusting our god we are trusting our family we are trusting our teacher our school so that is why your parents are sending you to the school on the basis of trust so trust is a important key of our personality now the next is understanding understanding in relationship understanding in uh, you can say whatever you are gaining from education so understanding is must if you are not well understood any subject so it is quite difficult to you to uh, give examination or get good marks so this is an important thing in your life so children next is reuse and recycle yes children this is also an important part in value education program so children in this pic in this picture you can see a tree is bent so this is beautiful pic and in this picture you can see as a twig is bent so the tree will grow this shows humbleness respect this picture is showing us and teaching us humbleness so as a twig is bent so the tree will grow it means as we are letting down ourselves in front of our elders and in front of our society builders so our nation will become strong so humbleness and kindness is the key of our character building if our character is strong if our character is uh, uh, full of humbleness and kindness so we can spread love easily so this is a beautiful picture and this uh, these lines are written by william wordsworth as a twig is bent so the tree will grow so here children you can see values are caught rather than taught so these are the values which we cannot taught it is caught it means whatever we are doing if your parents are doing uh, uh, some work for betterment of society so you will learn these morals from your parents easily because this is your environment and in which environment you are living so you will uh, you can say you can automatically become the same person as your environment is building you if your family is uh, serving to the nation or serving 
uh, for society so you will become a social worker or you can get easily these type of the values from your society because values cannot be taught if i'll teach you love so love cannot be taught it is you can see love around you your parents are loving you your grandparents are loving you so this is you can say these are the abstract thing that you can inherit from your family from your society automatically so these type of the thing cannot be teach so now first of all we will learn the definition of values and this definition is written by john dewey value means primarily to prize to esteem to appraise and to estimate it means the act of achieving something holding it and also the act of passing judgment upon the nature and amount of values as compared with something else so children values means primarily to prize to esteem to appraise and estimate it means to act of achieving something so these are the values which is written by so children as we have seen or we have learned the definition of values so here children you can see learning about self and wisdom of life what is value value is learning about self and wisdom of life yes children if we are learning from our mistakes whatever we are doing mis- uh, if we are doing mistakes in our life so we can see the consequences also so in our life we are doing mistake and after that we face the consequences so what type of the consequences we faced from this we can learn lesson and wisdom of life from our mistake we can learn lesson it is very simple formula it's not any tough thing if we are telling a lie and after that what happened we are getting punishment from our parent so this teaches us that we should not tell lie to our parents to our teachers so that is why i'm telling you learning about self whatever you are learning by your experience morally you can learn a lot and you can build your character and wisdom of life yes of course children god has given equally mind and strength to the people because every personality every human being is unique every human each and every human being has their special quality so children learning about self and wisdom of life is called values wisdom what is wisdom wisdom is a you can say uh, it is a gift by the god that from this gift of god you can learn what is right and what is wrong and this is given already given in your conscious and if the wisdom is with you so you never and ever fail in your life okay children so values are learning about self and wisdom of life 
And the next thing is attitudes and judgment, decision and choices, behavior and relationships, dreams and vision. They influence our thought, feelings and action. As children, as I told you in a previous clips, that your decisions, your judgments, your attitude will make you a better person or a worse person. It is in your hand. So try to make these type of uh, quality in your personality. How can you empower these personality? From learning. Learning from others. So whatever the thing you are uh, watching in your surrounding, that only and only with the help of the wisdom you can take. Children, as I told you, wisdom is to know what is right and wrong. So if you are having a wisdom, so you can select the correct one. And when you are selecting the correct one, you will follow this. So your attitude towards your parents, towards your elder ones, towards your teachers will give you an image. And judgment and decision and choices. Yes, of course, children. Decisions, judgments and choices. Always your parents used to tell you that choice is yours. So choice is yours, it means they are maybe are uh, they are maybe having different type of choice but if you are giving if they are giving you chance to choose anything so that time you can use your wisdom which is good for you you just choose this so your choice and your decisions and your judgment and your attitude makes your personality your behaviors and relationship, behavior, how are you behaving with others, how are you showing your attitudes towards other person. This will reflect your relationship. It means these type of the thing collectively makes your relations. If you are shouting at your mother, at your father, so what kind of relationship will show that you are not respecting your parents? So these are the things cannot be taught. It can, you can say, it can be it cannot be taught, but it can learn from our surrounding. So value education is telling you these type of the qualities that you have to collect in your personality. They influence our thought, feelings and action. These type of the attitudes, judgment, decision and choices, behavior and relationship, dreams and vision. They influence our thought, feelings and action. Yes, of course, if we are showing gratitude to someone, if we are showing uh, humbleness to someone, kindness to someone, so it is showing our feelings or it can influence anyone automatically. So children, these are the value we can learn. Now values are like the rails that keep a train on the track and help it move smoothly, quickly and with direction. They bring quality to life. Yes, children, values are important. As I told you, 
if you are having a value of wisdom value of love value of respect so your life will move smoothly in this quote you can see value is like the rails that keep a train on the track and help it move smoothly quickly and with direction they bring quality to life yes children values are very important for us responsibility love and care sharing respect these are the important values from these value our life become much stronger much happier so please calculate these type of the value in your life any human activity thought or idea feeling and sentiment or emotion which could promote self development of individual in all its dimension could be said to be constitute a value any human activity thought or idea and feeling sentiment or emotion which could promote self development of the individual so these are the uh, things are important for inculcating values with the help of these type of the values you can enhance your personality you can improve your personality and you will become a better human being children now after understanding the value what is value now we are going to talk about value education value education means inculcating in the children a sense of humanism a deep concern for the well-being of others and the nation yes children if we are having these type of the quality that we have already discussed love and care sharing responsibility respect so these are the fundamental values if we are having these type of the value and we have already inherited with from our family so it can help us to build a nation if our family is happy our society will be happy if our society is happy so our world will be happy so it is the correlation between the individual family society and the world so well, value education means inculcating in the children a sense of humanism become a better human being a deep concern for the well being of others and the nation so if we will develop these type of morals these type of the values in our life so we will become a good human being then i'll become a good human being so our surrounding automatically become a good surrounding for others if you are respecting others so other one who is watching you he or she can change their mind and he or she automatically change his or her mind and start respect others so it is based on your personality how you are reacting with others how you are dealing with people so the people will influence your good quality and they will perform they will transform themselves as you are so this is the value education and this is our moral responsibility to teach you how to develop these type of the skills so why value education is important for us why why we are teaching this 
Why we are learning this? Values allow the individual to interact harmoniously with others. If the value of love in our heart, so we can interact with the people with harmony and love. Values guides us, our behaviors, they are part of our identity as individual. So children, values are like a guide in our life. So children, always remember, they show us how to behave and how not to behave. When we are faced with desires of impulses, whether we are alone or with others. So children, our behavior, our attitude, our feelings are example of our personality. So values are important to enhance these type of the skill to behave with others properly. They are like an compass that help us behave consistently regardless and situation. Yes, children, value education, they are like a compass. They help us behave consistently. Our behavior never go down or up, but it will move smoothly in the society, in our family. So these type of the thing we should learn. Values guide our actions and determine for us what's good or what bad. So as we have discussed children, wisdom. Wisdom is an important thing for us and it is a gift of God. From the wisdom we can choose the correct one, the correct thing for us. So children, these values are important for our personality building. If you are so beautiful, but your tongue is not good at all, so your beauty become worst. And nobody will like you. So, Whatever you are telling or whatever you are doing for the family, for the society, it will make you beautiful. Inner beauty is most important than the outer beauty. So children, beauty lies in your heart, not in your face. So make your heart beautiful. If you are beautiful inside, you will become beautiful outside also. So values can make, make you beautiful inside. If you are beautiful inside, if you are thinking good for others, doing good for others, so automatically the people will Consider you as a good human being. So children, value education is teaching us how to inculcate these type of the values in our life and become a good human being. So now children, we can learn types of values. There are seven types of values. First is aesthetic. Second is personal, third is social, fourth is moral values, fifth is spiritual values, behavioral values and material values. Now our traditional Indian values are truth, beauty, goodness, spirituality, simplicity, tolerance, pursuit of truth and non-violence. These are the our traditional Indian values. On the basis of that, our freedom fighters fought 
and got the freedom from British people. If we will take the example of Mahatma Gandhi, so his tolerance teach you that how he behaved with the English people, with tolerance, non-violence. These are the essential values for our personality. Truth, yes, of course, Jesus, children, truth is God. If we are telling lies, so we are uh, serving satanic things. If we are telling truth, so we are serving God. The truth is God. Beauty, yes, beauty, beauty, as I told you in our previous picture, in our previous clip, that beauty lies in your heart, not at your face. Goodness, goodness, it means all quality of best human being. This is called goodness. Spirituality. Spirituality means that you are following God. You are worshipping God Almighty. That is called spirituality. Because God is a great power. Next is simplicity. These are all traditional Indian values. Simplicity, that we should show ourselves as a simple person. Tolerance, yes, of course, tolerance is the, uh, you can see in our Indian culture, tolerance is important. Because we are living in the society where you can find different type of the culture with different type of religion, different type of languages. So, we should be tolerant. And this quality each and every Indians are having. Pursuit of truth and non-violence. So, truth is the first Indian value, traditional Indian values. So, non-violence is also is an important part in our value. Now some constitutional values that India is also having and we can learn from our Indian constitu constitution that is democracy. Democracy is the gift for people, general people. So democracy as you all know by the people, the rule by the people, for the people and from the people. Democracy is also a great thing for the human being. In democracy, you can get freedom to speak, freedom to uh, write, freedom to fight, freedom to everything you can get in democracy. Socialism. Socialism where the society is having a highest place in the world. And socialism, in this concept, you can see each and every individual is unique. Each and every individual has their own place. And we cannot uh, insult or we cannot... Uh, demoralize any human being. This is called socialism. Every person are having their own right, equal right to speak, to write, to everything he or she can do. Secularism and equality. Secularism, it means that uh, India, you can take the example of India. India is a state of different type of culture and different religion. So, secularism that each and every religion, 
is having a respect, same respect in our society, in our India. And constitution is also giving us same respect. So no minority, no majority, everyone is equal. And all religions are equal. No religious greater than the other. And equality. Equality because our society is based on, um, you can say, Manu Vyavastha. There are uh, so many different type of um, caste and uh, creed. So, in this type of society we are living, so constitutional value is to give each and every people equality. There is no any discrimination in ourself. So this is, these are the constitutional values. Now universal values. Truth is universal value is coming because without truth, as I told you, truth is God. So this is universal. Righteous conduct. It means your righteous conduct, it means your character should be strong and your character must be very spiritual. Nonviolence, this is universal value. If we are nonviolent in our society, in our nation, so world can learn us from, the, uh, from this values. So, non-violence is an important universal value. Love, love as you all know, love is an important part of our values. So, universal values are is love also. World peace, world peace on the basis of truthfulness, righteous conduct, non-violence and love, we can create world peaceful. Human right, human rights are also important because we have already talked about uh, uh, constitutional values. Similarly, human right is there and universal brotherhood. If we are loving in our family, we can love, we will live, love our nation. And if we are loving our nation, so automatically we will love our world also. So universal brotherhood is important. These type of the values we can learn from this value education. Now here children you can see value pyramid. So, a spontaneous manifestation, action with effort, discrimination, appreciation and knowledge. So, we can start with the knowledge and appreciation, discrimination, action with effort and spontaneous manifestation. Knowledge is important. Knowledge we can get wisdom. Without wisdom, you can't get knowledge. And after that, appreciation. Appreciate someone and if someone is appreciating you, so it's showing the love and discrimination. Discrimination is, I think, this is also coming in the value pyramid and we have to condemn it. Action with effort. It means whatever you are doing, your action must speak. If you are doing good for the society, so your effort will make the society a better place. So this is value pyramid. 
So value education, direct and indirect approaches, curricular and co-curricular approaches, integrated approaches. So these are the approaches of value education. And now which is very important for value education is community prayer, health and cleanliness program, society, socially useful productive work, special classroom situation, cultural and recreational activities, citizenship training, social service program. So these are the main part of value education. First is community prayer. Community prayer is showing the integrity. Health and cleanliness program, if our uh, people are healthy and clean, so we can make a better place. Socially useful productive work. So some social work are important for our society. So in value education we can learn these type of the productive work. A special classroom situation. Each and every subject, each and every chapter are having a moral. So how to integrate with value education that is in our program. So a special classroom situation this is based on that cultural and recreational activities. So when we are showing different type of the culture, so that culture will present our recreational activities. It means cultural and recreational activities will also part of value education. Citizenship training. So this is, this is also an important part of value education program, social service program. This is also an important part of the value education program. So children, as we have seen different type of the aspect of uh, uh, value education program and uh, what are the values we have learned and how it is important for us, for our society, for our family and for our world also. So we have discussed on the, this topic in our uh, video and in our coming video we will discuss more about that. So this video is based on only and only introduction part of value education. In our coming video, we will learn more. So children, children, bye-bye and take care.